Oh Lord, every time I look at my like American haul videos, I think to myself, how did all these things end up here? What did I buy? <laughs> Hello everyone, today we are looking at a whole bunch of American and United States and North America items that you can currently purchase online or in local stores. I do these hauls so you can see what items are available in our region. Since a lot of times with Sailor Moon collaborations or releases of merch, you don't necessarily get the same items in each region of the world. I have a pile that's like this tall next to me. It's quite a lot of quite a lot of things. So we'll start with this one. Now, depending on where you are shopping, you will notice that a lot of stores in the US have these very, very large, thick, high quality notebooks. These are excellent for taking notes for different classes or if you do journaling, these are really good for those. And I love that they come with these super fun bookmarks inside of each of them. The reason I like these so much is because the outer shell, the front and the back, is made out of a plastic material. So if you spilt anything on either of the covers, it would be very easy to wipe them off. They also come with some really lovely prints. So on the front of this one, we have the Sailor Guardians. We have seen this print before. This is a pretty commonly licensed uh, promotional art that we see of Sailor Moon. But this one is cool because we get these full length images of each of the Sailor Guardians. So we have Sailor Moon on this page and she is fully outlined in pink for her outfit. So it's not a full color image. The paper in here features all of the planetary symbols for the inner guardians. Next we have Sailor Mercury. That's such a cool print. She looks really lovely. Then we have Sailor Mars right there. She also looks so cool. Sailor Jupiter looking awesome. And each of these are plastic as well. And Sailor Venus. This one is so pretty and probably my favorite notebook that I've gotten lately. I love that it is full color. We have the Sailor Moon logo at the top. This is the English logo. We have the five inner guardians on there. Uh, my cat's making noise, don't mind her. <laughs> I do let my cat in my collection room because I'm nice. This again is a plastic material for the front. Let's check out the inner design. Okay, so here we have a chibi Sailor Moon as the bookmark right here, the book tab, and we have her cutie moon rod. Here we have the paper style. So we do have kind of a childish logo, but it's still very cute. Then we have Sailor Mercury and her transformation wand. So my guess is we're going to see the same thing across the board for each of the characters. Chibi Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, and last but not least, Sailor Venus. This is so cute. I do a lot of like script writing and taking notes for the different channels that I work on uh, for my job. So these are adorable and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them. This is such a unique and interesting piece uh, this was created by Just Funky and it was available at Box Lunch. It's a Luna planter with a faux succulent on the inside. You will notice that some of the faux soil did end up coming loose, so I'll probably have to glue that back together. It does look a little inexpensive or cheap, but it's still really cute. I would love to have like an actual Luna planter for my live plants. I feel like that would be really adorable. Is anybody making that? Anybody do pottery and like create these? Because I would buy that. There you go, that's a business idea. So here we have a close up of the Luna planter. You can see there are some rocks up here and they are glued into place. And this is a faux succulent. It is not real. It looks pretty nice though. Good shading overall. I think this will be a very cute little display piece to put somewhere in my house, maybe in my bathroom. I think that would look very cute in there. On the bottom, we have a little bit of information down here about the product itself. Gently hand wash only, don't soak. So this is a decorative ceramic container with lid. It is 5.4 inches by 5.5 by 3.5 not for use with food. It is made by Just Funky, and this is a Sailor Moon crystal item. Gentle hand wash only, do not soak. Here we have the container. There you can see it looks like uh, somebody painted it, so it looks like a piece of pottery. It's really cute. On the inside, we have an unpainted lid, 
and the bottom piece, the heart, is fully pink on all sides. It's a little dusty. That's just because of the styrofoam inside the packaging, but I'm glad that it shipped with care. It did not break. You can see brush strokes in here, so it does look like it was like hand painted. It's cute though. It's really cute. Like my friend has a pottery place here in Colorado. It's called Glaze and Phase if you're ever in the area. And this would totally be something that I could see myself painting at her art studio. I believe I purchased this off of Stunned Mind. This piece I'm so excited about because for the first time in forever, we have a bowl with a lid that you can actually stick in the dishwasher. And it says it's microwave safe. See, see there, look at that. Now we know that Just Funky, sorry, that's my cat. Now we know that Just Funky has the ability to make products that are dishwasher safe and microwave safe. They should do this with everything that they release. So this is a bowl with vented lid and chopsticks, 20 ounces made by Just Funky. Oh my gosh, it's actually, what is this? Is it porcelain? Is it ceramic? And it's dishwasher safe. Are you kidding me? And it's microwave safe? Really? I'm so surprised right now. I'm very surprised. Okay, we have the cheap chopsticks. Do not put those in the microwave. Here we have Wow, this is a nice bowl. I'm so impressed, y'all. I can't believe it. We actually have something I can put in the dishwasher. Now I do wonder how long this print will last if I do put it in the dishwasher in the microwave because oftentimes prints peel, but this looks like it's pretty high quality. I'm so surprised, just funky. Can we get more things like this? Because this is exactly what I want in my busy adulting life. I can't be purchasing a bunch of ramen bowls that I would have to wash by hand. Okay, so the lid is really cool. The lid has, what is this, a timer? I don't know how that works. How do you use this? Anybody know? It didn't come with directions or anything. So what is this for? I don't know what that is for, but you can pop this up, let steam come out which is so nice, very cool. This pops off, it has a rubber grommet around the edges, which I would probably recommend washing now and then so that you don't get food stuck up in there and it doesn't get dirty and gross. But this is a nice, just plastic. It feels like Tupperware. And according to this, yes, you can put it in, let's see, dishwasher and microwave. So it is microwave safe. And then here we have this really nice big bowl with the inner Sailor Guardians on the front. We have them in their supers uniforms and we have the planetary symbols on the back. I can't believe that this is as nice as it looks. I'm very impressed. Good job, Just Funky. This is like, this is my favorite piece so far. I don't think this one is dishwasher safe though. Let's find out. No, it's not. This was available at Box Lunch. You can still find it at Box Lunch. Super excited about that at time of recording. I'll put the link down below so you can easily find it. I love this camper mug. This is very much my style. I absolutely adore this. I love that it kind of looks like a, a, it's got some like white flakes all over it. It's got Sailor Moon si silhouette. Almost looks like a camper logo. So very, very stylish. Especially if you live in a place like Colorado with our mountains. How much was this? $16.90 through box lunch, full price. It does have the print on both sides. That's pretty cool. Would I recommend ordering it? If you don't like that style, no, you can skip it because it's, hand wash only. Now this one I'm a little confused about because the website, I think I got this off box lunch, but I'll check down below. I believe that the website did say that this is microwave and dishwasher safe. However, the back of the box says hand wash only, don't soak in microwave. As you can hear from my clinging, this one is also made out of, I believe it's ceramic. I will definitely have to clarify. I think I will reach out to customer service or customer support and make sure that this one is dishwasher and microwave safe, like the website says. I don't wanna give you the wrong information or advice in terms of how to use this. But if you are purchasing it, just note that the box says something different than what is on the website. And I always check for dishwasher safe stuff on the websites now, whenever I purchase these things from like Box Lunch, Hot Topic, Just Funky, Stun Mine, all those places. So on this one, we do have this very cute print of Sailor Moon. And we do have this band up at the top that matches her fuku, her uniform. A pink crescent moon is behind her and we have the same print on both sides. It does come with the inexpensive little chopsticks again. I would recommend getting some nice high quality ones that you can put in a dishwasher if you really wanna get chopsticks, if that's something that you really wanna invest in. So another nice looking ramen bowl, but I am going to clarify whether or not 
it is dishwasher safe. This item is not dishwasher safe, but it's very cute. <laughs> it's so cute. This is so cute. So this is a milk carton jug uh, thermos. You can drink out of it. It looks like a milk carton. It's got Luna on the front and it does come with a lid so you can screw this back on. On the side, we have this cute little print of like emojis of Luna and crescent moons and stars and Artemis. The back does have Artemis on it. It feels a little bit oily, like there's oil up at the top. I'm not sure about that. I'll have to wash it before I use it for sure. And we have more of the same images on the side. Uh, according to this, it is BPA free and it was $16.90 upon purchase. Uh, that's the full retail price. The notepad I showed you at the very beginning, the notebook, uh, looks exactly like this. It has the same exact promo art that we've seen pretty commonly. And this is just in memo pad and sticky note format. What do we have next? Oh yeah, I got two of these. Why did I get two? I don't know. For front and back, that's why. I live in a state where you're supposed to put them on front and back. At least I think so. These are license plate holders and it is a licensed item. Now you might remember I had unboxed a license plate holder a while back, a few months ago. And one of the things I had said in the, that video, if I left it in, I might've edited it out. I don't remember. But one of the things I had, I was thinking about when I had unboxed that was, wow, it would be nice to have a license plate holder that actually had the Sailor Guardians on it. And now we have that. So I don't know if somebody listened to my video or they just heard that critique from somebody else, but I'm glad that we now have Sailor Guardians on a license plate holder. Now, one of the things that I learned from Sailor Samara was that these will fade in the sunlight. That happened to the previously released license plate frame. So with this one, Samara recommended getting some UV spray paint and spraying it over because it's a clear coat, but it's a UV coat. Spraying it over this before you put it on your car to hopefully keep this looking vibrant as long as possible. I think that's really smart, but this is very, very cute. It's got a really nice clear print for each of the Sailor Guardians. And I love that it includes both the inner and the outer Sailor Guardians. The gradient print looks lovely. We got the Sailor Moon logo at the top. So this is perfect if you are, you know, developing a Sailor Moon car, a Sailor Moon themed car. This would look awesome on your car. Can't wait to put this on my vehicle. Not tell my husband that I'm doing it and hopefully he doesn't notice. I'm just kidding. He loves my Sailor Moon stuff. He, he appreciates that I have a thing that I love as much as I do. He may not understand it, but he don't care. I picked this up at Box Lunch in Colorado Mills Mall. Stopped by there when I got my hair done. Do you like my hair? This is a squeaky pet toy. It sold out online. I was really happy that they had tons in stock at my local mall, so I picked one up for my doggo. Uh, I will definitely test this out with her to let you know if she actually likes it. This was $14.90 MSRP. However, if you have any of the Box Lunch coupons, you can totally use it on this. This is very soft. Kind of reminds me of some of the Bark Box items that I have purchased for my dog from Target. So kind of similar to those, uh, very poofy, definitely has a lot of cotton on the inside. So if you have a dog that likes to destroy plush cottony things, maybe not give them this because they would probably swallow cotton. We have some embroidery on the front. This is the Crystal Star. And the cute thing about this is it opens. So it opens so you can see the internal piece of the brooch, of the brooch. It's very, very cute. And it does have a squeaker on the inside. I hope my dog didn't hear that. She probably heard that and she's gonna run up here and try to grab, grab it from me. But I'll, I'll let you know if she likes it or not. One cool thing about Box Lunch and Hot Topic is they often have Sailor Moon stickers available in their store. They don't sell these online, so you do have to go in the store to actually purchase them. But I have been able to find a whole slew of really cute stickers at Hot Topic and Box Lunch. I wish I knew ahead of time which ones they are releasing in store. So if you ever go in the store and you notice these, definitely let me know because I would love to be able to share that with everybody else online so they know like if they should go into the store or not because these are exclusive to the stores. This one I got at Hot Topic. It's a really big print and very cute and it was inexpensive, $2.99. Great price. Great price for a big vinyl sticker. I also picked up Tuxedo Mask. All of these ones are from Box Lunch. Tuxedo Mask, he was $3.90. 
Kind of pricey for just such a small sticker. Also at Box Lunch, Luna and Artemis, $3.90. This very cute one of Sailor Moon. This one is $4.90. This one totally reminds me of vintage stickers that I used to collect when I was a kid, which I still have. I have a bunch of foil stickers from when I was a kid that have this like die cut going on around them, but this is totally a vintage looking sticker. $4.90 for this one. This Black Lady sticker looks awesome. This one was $4.90. And we have the Cutie Moon Rod. Lots of Cutie Moon Rods going on right now. $3.90. There you go. Now, if you don't have a box lunch near you, but you are interested in, in these stickers, I did buy multiples for a reason. I will be doing a giveaway of these over on my Instagram. Follow me over there if you want to grab some of these. Kind of excited about this tea mug because I really, really like this print. I do have this print already as a coffee mug. Uh, so this one is a tea mug. A little bit different size, 11 ounces. This was available at GameStop. It costs, I don't know how much it costs. I will have to look at my receipt. <laughs> this is made by Just Funky. Hand wash only, don't soak, don't microwave. Are we surprised? No, we're not. You saw a very similar print of this on one of my previous unboxings of American merchandise. This is the same exact print, but I just really love it. And I wanted to get it in a tea mug version. So now I have the coffee and the tea mug. This features all of Sailor Moon's items, her wands, and we also have her brooch or her brooch, depending on who you are. We also have the silver crystal on here her disguise pen, lots of items. So this is very, very cute and it features a lot of those items. And they also have them written in both Romanji or Roman characters as well as Japanese characters. So you can practice your Japanese if you're studying. Okay, that was box number two. Uh, last box, box number three. Uh, Target doesn't always have Sailor Moon items, but oftentimes they will have exclusive Sailor Moon clothing items. So these came with, I believe there were shorts as well as sweatpants. Not so big on the shorts and the sweatpants, but I really like the hoodie because it's so soft and it's fully zipped on the front. Yay! I have so many hoodies that are pullover and it's so rare to have one that zips all the way up. So really like that. Love that this is perfect for the springtime or for the summertime if you have a cold night. Very cute. On the back of it, we have pretty guardian Sailor Moon printed on it with a big image of Sailor Moon. Her eyeballs. On the front is the English logo. And we also have that same image, but it's like zoomed out on the other side of the zipper. This is in an extra small and it fits great. It fits perfectly. So I feel like this was definitely a unisex design um, because I usually wear like a size medium, but this definitely fit really, really good. So love this hoodie. I also snagged this lovely Sailor Pluto shirt. Now this shirt is not the highest quality. I will say that you can definitely kind of see through it. So the thread count is a little, little limited on this shirt. It feels kind of like a Gildan cotton shirt, which I'm not a big fan of Gildan. I much prefer things like Bella Canvas, but you can see through it. See, like you can totally see my desk down below. So yeah, the thread count is not very high. It's pretty thin. I could probably tear this if I tried hard enough. I got this in a size small. These were available for each of the Sailor Guardians. There is a little P here. That's the planetary symbol for Pluto. Weird thing was, if you wanted to get the Sailor Saturn one, which is not available online anymore at time of recording, they actually put the wrong symbol in Sailor Saturn on the side. That missing attention to detail was enough for me to be kind of annoyed because I would have very much liked to have a Sailor Saturn shirt to match this one as well. And I hope that they do come out with it, but I did not want to wear something that was not accurate to the show. And given that they did make that misprint with the Sailor Saturn one, I'm glad that they pulled it down and hopefully they remake it. Because that's one of those details that you know other Sailor Moon fans would just be like, mm, did you know that your shirt has the wrong planetary symbol? And then you'd have to be like, yes, I know they made it wrong, like blah, blah, blah. But I just didn't want to buy it and deal with that. I got this from Amazon. Weirdest thing ever, uh, totally random. I have no idea how long it's been on Amazon, but it's licensed. So why not? I don't even really remember what this was. Oh, it's a folder. It's a folder. Okay, so the front of it is plastic, kind of like those notepads that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And then we have all of these slide in folder spaces where you can put things. 
Oh, that's cool. This is great. This will be really good to store some of like the promotional art or flyers that I tend to collect from Japan. There's only, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's, there's three double-sided pages inside of this binder. The back is just a gradient print and the front we have all of the Sailor Guardians. Very cool. Really nice, super Sailor Senshi promotional art and not as widely used art. So I like that it's a little bit unique, a little bit different. Uh, in a previous video, I did unbox the original Sailor Moon first season Blu-ray. These are re-releases that have better masters, better copies, so better imagery all throughout than the previous releases that released back in like, what was that, 2014, 2015 or something like that. Now we have the entire seasons available in these Blu-ray collections. So here we have Sailor Moon R. This one just released a couple of months ago, so I've had it sitting down here for a while. I am glad that they are re-releasing these since folks have done some side-by-side -side comparisons with the the previous Blu-ray releases and did notice that these are a higher quality visual, so higher quality graphics. Wish we had had the highest quality back in the day so that I'm not repurchasing the same show over and over again, but I am glad that we finally have something that looks more high quality. I feel like we deserve that, okay? So mine has a little bit of scuffing on the front, but the print is very cute. We have this matte casing for the Blu-ray. We have a shinier print of Sailor Moon with the logo. So you can kind of see the reflection there. On the back, it says Sailor Moon R. We have a few screenshots from the show, including Sailor Pluto over there. This is four by three aspect ratio, 1080p HD. And we also have Japanese as well as English. There's a few extras on here. Like um, there is a cast interview, which is very cool. These are very similar from the first season. Not too much going on on the discs themselves, but definitely looking forward to being able to watch these on a local copy. So great. Also, I figure if I purchase like the local Blu-ray copies and Viz Media keeps on getting money out of us, like maybe they will announce Sailor Moon Cosmos. The new movies are going to be translated into English and released here on Netflix. I don't know. We'll see. I hope that comes true. It hasn't happened yet when I'm recording this video. So here I'm waiting. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I haven't unboxed this yet. This was available all over the place. We thought they were gonna be so rare, but everybody had them. This is the Sailor Moon Q Posket. This is a collaboration item between Sailor Moon and Q Posket, which specifically is for prototype Sailor Moon as a Q Posket model. So she comes in the box and then you also get the first Naoko Takeuchi edition of the Sailor Moon manga as well, which I already have, but I still wanted to grab this for this specific limited edition model. We have seen the manga before, so nothing special there. I'm gonna leave it in the box. We have not seen this Q Posket. It is tiny. Look how small that is. She fits in the palm of my hand. She's tiny. If you are interested in Q Poskets and you want to see a whole collection video and a little bit more discussion about like how much they cost and where you can get them, all that good stuff, let me know down below in the comments. I would love to do a separate video of my entire Q Posket collection. Okay, here we go. Here's the little figure. She's teeny tiny. I'm gonna go ahead and put her on her stand. Oh my gosh, this is adorable, y'all. She's cute. She's so cute. Can't believe it took me so long to finally unbox this girl. She comes with her own little plastic stand, as you can see here. This is a very cute prototype Sailor Moon. If you've never seen the prototype before, this is what Sailor Moon was going to look like, according to Naoko Takeuchi's original drawings, so original manga drawings. We never saw her looking like this in the anime, only in art books and some collections by Naoko. So she does have a very similar style, but you will notice a few differences like the Odango covers up here, her little Odango shields. Those are a different color. Her hair is obviously white as opposed to blonde. She has a mask very similar to Sailor V. Her gloves are different. She has a cape and her bow is a different color in the back. So lots of differences going on here, but a really, really cute design. I don't believe we've ever gotten a figure of the prototype of Sailor Moon. So this is a first of its kind and very exciting to own. I love this. Very cool. 
And I love the fact that it was available so easily internationally as well. Now, lastly, I did get a pair of mouse pads. Both of these, they don't look like they're licensed, but they are. These are by Great Eastern Entertainment, which is another brand where you can purchase a lot of anime merchandise in North America. I am often looking for products that mix both my tech side of life as well as my anime nerd weeb side of life and mouse pads fit very well into that part of my personality. So I have two mouse pads here. Both of these are very long mouse pads. So they are made to be able to fit both your keyboard and your mouse. So here we have the first one. This is a really beautiful piece of art of, we have Sailor Moon, we have Tuxedo Mask and the Inner Sailor Guardians. There we have the Moon Kingdom behind them in the palace with Earth behind that. It's a very pretty print, a very, very cool print. A little bit darker of a color scheme, but very, very cute. The other one that I picked up by GEE or Great Eastern Entertainment is this beautiful one of Princess Serenity. And she is surrounded on both sides by all of the Inner Sailor Guardians. Now this one is the same size, same length. So very long, perfect for a keyboard. You have the logo up there, lots of pretty doilies and things, very feminine looking, very pink. And of course, Sailor Moon is holding her moonstick with the silver crystal embedded within it. Cute, I love that it is sewn on each side. No LEDs or anything, so nothing crazy special or cool there, but definitely a really nice long mouse pad if you're looking for one. Just a few other cute little items available here in the US. I have this mug with a coaster lid. This is also not machine washable. Don't soak, don't microwave. This was available for $19.90. This is a very cute mug and coaster set because it comes with this coaster slash cover, which features the sil silhouette of Sailor Moon. I think it's ceramic. And you also get this very nice, very big coffee mug, which features the logo on the back. And you also have Sailor Moon printed in full color on the front. So you can put the mug with the coaster down below it, or you can use it to cover up the top of it and keep your mug hot, keep your liquid inside of here hot. That's cute. I wish it was machine washable, but it's very cute. Just a couple of other little small things. I picked up this really cute patch of Luna. This is one of those, I think it's an iron-on patch. Very cute, love it. And I also wear a lot of scrunchies. I wear scrunchies all the time. Especially if I'm not recording one day, I just stick my hair up in a scrunchie and I'm done for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fancy. I really like this scrunchie set. It's like a Diana slash Chibiusa scrunchie set. So we have this very cute scrunchie that's of this very soft velvety material that has the gray Diana color. We have a crescent moon embroider right there and a pair of ears and the ears are so cute, so cute. Chibiusa is featured on this satin scrunchie. And then we have Diana on this last satin scrunchie. These are just so cute and I, I wear them all the time. So. Why not? $12.90 for these. I believe these were available at either Box Lunch or Hot Topic, but I will check down below. So that was a lot of stuff, but I'm done. That was everything that I have collected from America, from America retailers for the past couple of months. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are looking for any of these in particular, I have direct links down below. I won't make you jump through hoops to find any of these items for sale. So I will list all of those links down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Jenny.